Welcome back. Apple taking another step back from Intel. It's giving its flagship computer, the Mac Studio, a turbocharged boost from its very own M1 Ultra processor, which it unveiled only yesterday. And here to give us all the details is Yahoo Finance's Dan Howley. Dan, it looks to be pretty fast. That's right, Jared. This is the new M1 Ultra. And basically what this is, is a smash together version of Apple's M1 Max. Uh, these are all chips that Apple has done just to take a step back. The M1 was the original chip that they had introduced. Then they had the M1 Pro. The M1 Max was their prior highest end, and now we have the M1 Ultra. And this is a, a chip that is supposed to blow those out of the water. It's got uh, 20 different CPU cores. That's crazy. Uh, 16 high performance cores and four high efficiency cores. Uh, they have uh, on the graphics side, 64 graphics cores. Uh, and so just to give you an idea of where this is going to be, uh, it's going to show up in, as you said, the new Mac Studio. Uh, and that basically means that the only Mac uh, with an Intel chip still inside is the Mac Pro. So you got to imagine that that big boy is going to be replaced at some point with a new desktop. But let's talk about what performance uh, this kind of chip has in the Mac Studio. So according to Apple, the M1 Ultra uh, in the Mac Studio means that it's 3.8 times faster than the 27-inch iMac running on the company's best Intel chip that's offered. Uh, it's also 90% faster than the Mac Pro, which uses an Intel Xenon chip. Uh, and then as far as graphics performance, uh, we're looking at the Mac Studio being 4.5 times better performance uh, than the 27 inch Mac and then 80% faster than the Mac Pro. So these are huge boosts in performance overall. And really what it says is to Intel, look, we don't need you anymore. We're able to do this on our own with our own in-house chips, ARM based of course, uh, and blow you away, at least according to the numbers that Apple has shown. And I think this really will start to bring back some of the people uh, who may have left Apple, uh, the creatives, folks who need high powered machines who are leaning more towards Windows because of their ability to have both high end Intel and high end Nvidia graphics. Now, how those two uh, different types of machines pair up, we'll have to see in our own testing. But so far, it looks like Apple really has pulled off something impressive here. Dan, I was doing the math as you were rattling off those cores, and I, I counted something like 100, 100, and we wonder why there is a chip shortage. It's all those people on the fourth floor, the editors and the graphics operators. Dan Howley, always great to hear from you. 